Tuesday at 9 on 4. Christmas? Seek solace with others on Cutting Edge, a very British Christmas, Monday from 9 on 4. Oh, on 4, not in front of the children. It's amazing what you find on the net. It's just so Graham Norton. I couldn't be more excited. I mean, what a week it's been. So nice to see Prince William on his hands and knees in a toilet, filling his gap. <laughs> Apparently, it's the... It's the first time a royal has ever been seen with her head down a lavatory bowl. <laughs> Apart from his lovely Auntie Margaret, of course. <laughs> it's all just so messy! <laughs> right, stay standing. <laughs> stay standing. If you've ever had a mishap in someone else's home. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start right at the back. I'm going to start right at the back. Oh, my God. Oh, in a mighty bound. Dear God. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, hello. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened to you in someone else's house? Um, I was about eight years old and I was around my friend's house and I went to the toilet and I tried flushing and it just would not flush and it was, it was quite big. And <laughs> oh, it wasn't a... Yeah, it was a... Mm, yes. <laughs> and it was like the only toilet in the house. So um, they called the neighbours in with the old plungers and coat hangers and I had everything down this toilet trying to get it out and nothing would happen. So in the end, my mum said to me, I ain't getting it out. She went, I had to put on gloves and I had to get it out myself. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, you were eight years old. <laughs> was it like half your body weight down a toilet? How big was it? <laughs> it was massive. <laughs> what did you do with it when you got it out? I put it in a carry bag and I had to, because I only lived opposite, I had to, <laughs> I had to run across the street. <laughs> Don't stop me! Don't stop me! <laughs> oh, oh, well done, Kelly. We like that story very much. Very good. La, la, la. Anna. Sorry? Anna. Anna. And, and what happened to you, Anna? Um, I had a similar um, experience, actually. <laughs> but it was um, at a boyfriend's house. Oh, were I, you fully grown at this time? I was, very. See, that would be huge, Kelly. Can you imagine if <laughs> I'm that? Are you still quite... <laughs> <laughs> no, it might be something. Maybe she's missing a bit of bowel. And it just... <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted, Anna. Can I just say, it was only small and floating. That's why I was. So I didn't wait for anybody else to ask me to fish it out, so I took it out myself. <laughs> and um, and wrapped it in tissue and popped it under the scales that were by the scales. 
<laughs> that, that's brilliant, because the next question is going to be got some of the scales. <laughs> Not only am I fat, but I smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Anna. I'll go down to this lady here. What happened to you? Oh, um, about two years ago, my dad, bless him, I went up to see stay with him, gave me, um, or put my dressing gown on, was walking around the living room in front of the big window, and all of a sudden I felt this heat was going up my back. Nothing went under my dressing gown. He'd set fire to the bottom of it. You know, like your fluffy socks when you set fire to them. <laughs> we did it to my dressing gown. Did he do it on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were any younger, social services would be ringing us now. <laughs> Give us addresses. So you thought that was funny, just setting a light to your clothing? Yeah, it's quite normal. He does it to the socks. <laughs> are, you the, are you the sister? Yeah. Oh, stand up. Yeah. So, he's done it to you as well. <laughs> to my socks, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever mention this in school at all? <laughs> no, you've got your boyfriend's socks as well when it they come around. anyone that anyone comes around. around. Anything fluffy. See, your father could be in a Channel 5 documentary. <laughs> <laughs> the embarrassing thing is, this was two years ago, and I was running round in front of the window with no clothes on. Yeah. No, see, the embarrassing thing isn't that. <laughs> it really isn't. It's the fact that your father is a lunatic. <laughs> That's the mad bit. <laughs> it's so mad he does it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, see, dads do funny things with the TV remote. <laughs> they, they don't set fire to your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a dad. That's what happens at home. <laughs> well done, the sisters with the mad man. <laughs> well done, all the messy people. Very good. <laughs> I love my little podium. Ooh, it reminds me of swinging London and the swinging 60s when groovy people like me, well, we were in prison. It was such a glamorous time with glamorous people, and my first guest was at the heart of it all. It's Marianne Faithful! <laughs> So glad. Did you hear what we were playing there as you came down? I had a little bit of, was it Lucy? Yes, the yeah. ballad of Lucy George. I love that song so much. It's a beautiful song. It is. But Joe, you know, it's weird. I remember hearing it because the bit we were playing there was that bit about, um, uh, and I'll never drive through power, no, 37. At the age of 37, she realised she'd never ride through Paris in a sports car with the warm wind in her hair. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in university hearing that and thinking, wouldn't it be awful to be 37 and have regrets? <laughs> <laughs> Depressing. But no, but at the moment now, you're, so you're out, you're doing uh, gigs with Jules Holland. Yeah. And you're going to go on tour with Sandra Bernhardt and everything. Yeah. But I want, I want to go back to sort of the beginning and you being discovered and everything. So yeah. it sounds, reading the things, you were a bit like G Phoebe in Friends. <laughs> ah! you... Thanks. But no, you were sort of singing Thanks, songs friends. in coffee shops, weren't you, and things? I didn't play guitar. Oh, right. That's oh. my big difference. Okay. Phoebe. So it was Smelly Cat a cappella. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then the Rolling Stones manager heard you and he signed no, you he up. He never heard me, he just saw my face. Mm. Mm. Pretty yes. lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was just so different to it at the time because I was so young. I was 17, I wasn't wearing makeup. I didn't, I didn't care. I think that's what, what he liked. Yeah. And I was very pretty. No, oh, you were, and, but what's interesting now, they get sort of 17 year olds like, you know, Billy and Britney, they, yeah. they try to sex them up. But on, on your early records, they, it's almost like they've gone out of their way. They couldn't make you, just I mean, you were in knee socks on, on a thing. I mean, it couldn't be less sort of <laughs> sex. Look at this one. You look like sort of the love child of Perry Como and Val Dunigan in that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what Andrew wanted. But he you... wanted no sex, knowing that, in fact, sex comes through anyway. You don't have to dress sexy to be sexy, I don't think, anyway. Oh, particularly when you call your album, Come My Way. Uh, <laughs> of course, I didn't think of that at all at the time, you know. I mean, obviously, everybody else did, but I didn't. <laughs> but now, the whole thing, so the Rolling Stones manager and all of that sort of stuff. Now, in retrospect, do you regret <laughs> the whole getting involved with the Rolling Stones and all that sort no. of stuff? 
no idea. But it sort of overshadows, I always, I think it sort of overshadows your music in that you're remembered as this kind of wild child Rolling Stones person rather than yeah. for the for The, the for Rolling the Stones tend to do that to people, don't they? They do. Yeah. <laughs> but, on the other hand, it might be quite a good thing because then I have to really fight, really work hard and really, I, I think um, I've gone on much longer than I might have done if I, because I've had to prove myself. I've got definitely to, to be Marianne Faithful and show that, that what I meant. You yeah. Know? And if you had to give advice to the Britney, to the to the Billy, little Billy Piper, um, what advice? 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 You've been through it. I don't know. I, oh God. They're very different to me, you know, those girls. They're... Well, Britney's a virgin. <laughs> That's yeah. Yep, she is. But don't you always say, I think, I look at her now. I, I hope she gives it to somebody worth it. <laughs> but don't you think she's going to be so sorry she wasted? In my day, we couldn't wait to get rid of our virginity. I think that's this day as well, isn't it, really? <laughs> You think so? I think so, oh, really. I think Britney's so a freak. So nothing's really changed. No. No, Britney is an aberration. She really is. Well, right. you know, I mean, we have to be careful because she's... I, I would never want to say something that would hurt her feelings. It's amazing how these things can... Sort of little egos there sort of desperately wanting absolute total adoration and then you and I get on the telly and put her down. You know, she could be crushed for the next 30 years by that. No, but I think it's all right because neither of us, <laughs> neither of us have a vested interest in her losing her virginity, let's face it. Oh, no. No, you see, neither of us care, really, in that we don't want to have sex with Britney. Well, I... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 I... Run, Britney, run. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to move on, but Christmas. Because Christmas is coming, people keep sending me sort of Christmas presenty things. How nice. Well, you say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got this. Why would someone send me this, you think? See, it's a lovely little key ring. You see it there? Can yeah, you see it? Little yeah. dog. Yeah. And it, oh, isn't that lovely, the little dog? Why would someone send that to Graham? And then you realise it's because it does this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had an awful feeling that was coming. <laughs> oh, darling. I know. <laughs> it's quite cute, though. <laughs> um, I'll leave that there. <laughs> we, do, we do love dogs that can do things on, on this show. Now, uh, have you encountered um, the phenomenon of singing dogs? Have you? Yes, I used to have a dog. I had a Dalmatian. <laughs> and um, she used to smile, and she, she would sing to music, yes. Really? Yeah, but not really sing. I don't know. If... You know, I guessed as much, Marianne. <laughs> well, no, because anyway, so we found this website. Well, you never know what dogs can do now. You know, no, they might have changed. No, they've developed so much. <laughs> uh, here they are. Here are the, the, all these singing dogs. Here's one. Uh, this is Lewis. There he is singing. Look at him. He's singing. Lewis is singing. Can you? That's a dog. The thing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's previous champions. There's Buddy. Oh. This is just an excuse to show dogs with hats, See really. See Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there is Lucky Strike. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we've got some numbers uh, off this website of people with dogs who can sing. <laughs> so, um, what the hell, it's Christmas almost. Exactly. So... <laughs> Doggy phone is back! Here's an odd thing. All of these dogs in America. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, here we go. Right, we're trying pumpkin. No. And these are all winners of a competition in America. Really? Mm. Oh, former champion, it says in my car. Leslie's the person. Excuse me. Oh, hello. May I speak to Leslie Andrew, please? This is Leslie. Oh, hello, Leslie. My name is Graham Norton. I'm calling from Britain. Um, I want to, can, I, can I talk to you for a while about um, Pumpkin? Absolutely. What sort of dog is Pumpkin? Uh, she's a three-pound apricot pocket poodle. <laughs> did, did you make her that colour? 
No, that's the color she is. She's, uh, we actually look quite alike. I have sort of red curly hair and... Uh... Well, I think, I think there's a, a picture of you on the website because we'd love to see you. Hang on. Uh, okay. So I'll just scroll down. Look, there's Leslie and oh my, there's Pumpkin. And, and I don't know what they're doing to Pumpkin, Leslie, but it, it, it doesn't look good. It's hurting me. Mm -hmm. So both, both of us look alike and we sing. It's scary. I'm a little frightened. Um, <laughs> what, sort of, what sort of repertoire does Pumpkin have, Leslie? Well, she, she does take requests and she'll sing anything that I sing. She's partial to opera. Um, but uh, depending on what kind of music you like, she can sing anything. All right. Do, and do you sing opera? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, is, have you any opera? I'm with some friends. Any opera requests? Oh, that's a bit naff. <laughs> oh, a nice Christmassy suggestion. Ave Maria. Oh, Ave Maria. Okay, sure, sure. She can sing Ave Maria. Uh, now, uh, my, one of my Airedales might start singing too, just so, to warn you, okay? Oh. <laughs> there may be two dogs singing. Is the, okay, we'll try and spot if we can spot the uh, award winner as, a, as, as opposed to the Airedale, which will just be howling. Okay, are you ready? We're, we're very ready now. Okay, here we go. I was just going to say, it was really good. It was fantastic. <laughs> Leslie? Yes? Does that hurt Pumpkin in any way? No, not at all. And, <laughs> so, should we have one jolly Christmas song? Sure. OK, what's a jolly Christmas song? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I've got a professional singer with me. Miss Marianne Faithful is with me. Uh, would you like to suggest a Christmas song for Leslie and Pumpkin? Uh, Jingle Bells is fine. You're happy jingle with Jingle Bells? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Miss Faithful has requested Jingle Bells. Okay, here we go. <laughs> jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Join me and Marianne in part two when we'll be moving the furniture with my second guest and ringing someone at their convenience. See you after the break. Cheers. Hurrah for her. Mm. Now, um, as we were saying, it's our penultimate show before Christmas, so that means we get to open another window on our advent calendar. Mm. And uh, these are some of our favourite little M. Peggy films for over the last few series. Uh, so uh, we've had the man with his head up an elephant, we've had the man with <laughs> the elephant, and uh, <laughs> so what can it be this week? This is quite... anyway. Okay, here we go. Who's that? Now, do you remember this one? Now, there was a reason, there was a reason why we liked this one, and it was him. Does he remind you of anyone at all? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll help, I'll help you. Here we go, I'll say it again, see if this helps you. <laughs> Bold. No, it's not here. Oh, it's not. It's, oh, oh. <laughs> Marianne. <laughs> it's just someone who looks like uh. him. <laughs> it's not actually him. Okay. No. If you say so, Graham. No, I, no, I really do say no, so. No, good. Legally, I'm bound to say so. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> you know, obviously, we all have mobile phones, and it's very easy to lose. Very easy to lose. Now, the thing is, I haven't actually lost mine because I know exactly where I put it. And uh, I can show you where I put it on my webcam now. All right. <laughs> Here we go. It's in these public toilets, which are just along the South Bank. And when someone goes in... <laughs> 
they'll let me know Very bold. how they're going to phone them. Um, <laughs> you see, it's pointless and funny. Yeah. <laughs> The very core of this program, ladies and gentlemen. Pointless but funny. All right, uh, no one in there now, but I will be told when someone is in there. Can't wait. <laughs> now, um, I'm not very happy with my set. What would improve it? Uh, yes, that would make it better. That would make it better. Ah. That might make it a little bit better. Mm, yes, and now... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now these chairs, I'm not liking the chairs. I am, I am, could you move, yeah. could you move to that chair? Yeah. Sit, sit, yeah. sit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm loving that. I'm loving that because I can see colour, I can see texture. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can see Lawrence Llewellyn Bone. <laughs> A very subdued Mr. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. It's well, you know, this is this is. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting mellow in my old age. You know, I'm sort of moving towards a serene autumn years. Because you know the way on on this show often we we'll look for pictures of people. Yes. Looking a bit foolish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you talk about a sensible That's one. That's all I could find. <laughs> Honest to God, there's endless, Come on. endless pictures, endless pictures like that, and <laughs> <laughs> it is a unique look. Mm. Um, did, I mean, did you develop it? I mean, did someone come and say, put on the wallpaper clothes? What, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, well, it was an idea sort of about this time last year um, to have a chintz suit, which I thought, you know, sounds a bit fun. I don't know why you laugh. You'll all be doing it next year, trust me. Um, and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not mm. looking at you. <laughs> mm. And now, cause I, weird, I was watching Homefront, yes. the hour-long yes. Homefront. Extended. But I like the hour-long Homefront. Well, we can, I mean, we can get into a bit more detail and, you know, we can, we can get some um, groovy stuff. Yeah, but now, you know the Irish guy who's yeah. on with you, Dermot. Little old Dermot. Now, He's sort of turning into you now. I was watching last night. His, <laughs> his hair's growing. He was wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> you are having an effect on him, aren't you? It's scary. It was a bit, I must say. It's I hope it doesn't go the other way and I start getting excessive body hair. And, you know, <laughs> a desire to dig. Or, or, you just... Because, now, you live in Ireland. I'm from Ireland. Mm. We know there are accents. But Dermot, he's sort of crossed the line <laughs> into <laughs> impediment, really, hasn't he? <laughs> No, and as my mother, my mother pointed this out on the phone today, she was going, oh, yes, I know that harsh, but he's the man who can't say garden. <laughs> and it's just, he goes, Gordon, 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 <laughs> the, the soil in the garden. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's very, it's very earthy, um, but we're, every now and again we have problems with his shopping list when he asks for tree ferns. We're not sure whether that's three ferns <laughs> or tree ferns, you know. You can, you can go wrong with something like that. Then it, it is very kind of on true to life, anyone who's had a builder in yes. their home. <laughs> um, no, because seriously, now I was having a bathroom done, yeah. right? Uh, they came in to start the bathroom. This is just a personal rant now. Came in to start <laughs> the bathroom early May. Yeah. Late December now. <laughs> <laughs> See, there is a, a thin line twixt builder and flatmate. Yes. And, <laughs> and I feel they've crossed it. <laughs> you know, they're still there. They haven't finished. Does it flush? Does it work? Oh, no, no. After following on from, it, well, you know, the loveliness that actually, was. It does. Honestly, it would clear it. That bit's very good. <laughs> I could have that woman round and not be afraid. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she, could eat, she could eat bran in my house <laughs> and it would be all right. But anyway, the thing is, you, no. changing rooms, home for all those things, you have spawned a DIY empire now, haven't you? There's all sorts. We're, we're, we're doing bits and pieces, yeah. Bits and bits pieces. Bits and pieces. So many things. Um, the rummage drawer. No, no, rummage drawers. There's books yes. here. Uh, there's a lovely book here, Display. Display. Right. Now, I did notice, and maybe Come I'm not, maybe I, no, maybe I'm not allowed to say this. Oh, well, whatever. I did notice this book is £18.99. Yes. That's £19. Yes. Right. Now, see, if they didn't buy this book, possibly they wouldn't have to decorate their home with baked potato on ribbon. <laughs> 
They got, got into a shop and bought something nice. I, what? That is just potatoes on ribbons, isn't it? They're actually pebbles, but that doesn't make it any better. Silly me. <laughs> In your house, Marianne? Oh, come on. <laughs> So bit of support. <laughs> you couldn't, could you, Marianne? You just couldn't. Um, no, Very sensible. I, mean, it, it, I don't do Christmas, really, you know. No, this isn't that's, a Christmas oh, book. <laughs> oh, that's the tragedy. <laughs> They're just gold potatoes <laughs> hanging around the house any old time of the year. Oh, sorry, I'm being told now uh, we can go. There's someone in my toilet. Yeah. There's someone in my toilet. Uh, okay. Well, the door's shut. Hang on. I better do this quickly before they leave the toilet. Hang on. Uh, this is my mobile phone number. Ah, ah. Uh, oh, I mustn't cock this up. So, uh, 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 I'm giving him a tinkle. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's ringing. <laughs> it's the funny thing, it's ringing in there. Oh. They're choosing not to answer it. Maybe they can't find it. Maybe it's a big toilet. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, hello. My name's Graham. I've lost my phone. And um, where are you? Um, I'm actually in the toilet. <laughs> oh, right. Listen, I'll tell you what. My, my, my name's um, Graham Norton, and... Uh, <laughs> sorry? <laughs> I was... Uh, I... I was like, my, my name's Graham Norton. I'm doing a television show just uh, a little bit along in, uh, in the South Bank. And I wonder, could you bring my phone back? <laughs> um, I don't know where... Uh, well, if I, I tell you, have, have you, have you finished? Well, um, just, just about, yes. I mean, I can hurry up for... If you for could, that, if you could uh, yeah. shake it and do whatever you need to do. <laughs> okay. And what, what do I do then? Can you give me directions or something? I well, don't know I'd wipe I it and flush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I've got that. Hang on. Have you flushed now? Yeah, just about. Yes, nearly. Oh, you can see his feet. Oh, where's his feet? Oh, uh, oh, wait. Is that your feet? Shake your foot oh about your feet. Oh, there he's dancing. <laughs> oh, well done, sir. Thank you. Come, right. come out. Come out of the toilet. Come. <laughs> Is that you? Do you see that camera? Yes. <laughs> okay, walk towards the camera. What's your name, by the way? Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, walk towards the camera, and there'll be some people there, and they'll bring you back. They'll bring you, they'll bring <laughs> you and my phone to the studio. It'll only take a few minutes. Okay. All right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonathan. See you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Right, bye. 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 <laughs> All right, that's it. Join me in part three with Marianne and Lawrence and some man fresh from the bog. See you after the break. Cheers. <laughs> I'm here with Marianne Faithful and Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Now, eh... Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your name, isn't it? I know, but you make it sound like a kind of a rutting cry of a stag or something. Bowen. <laughs> well, you do make me feel butch, Lawrence. Okay. <laughs> um... oh, now... Well <laughs> now... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's time for our game. Now, with Lawrence here and, uh, you know, uh, home front in our minds, we thought, well, what are our audience's homes like? Do they ooze taste and function? Does their interior decor speak of effortless style and a carefree sense of form and space? Well, in a word, no. <laughs> so, come with me now, Marianne and Lawrence, as we play Home Affront. Oh. Come with me now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have done very, very well. There's some brilliant things here. Um, this, I'm very, very fond of. Um, I, was, I, was playing with this, I was playing with this earlier, and I thought, oh, that is beautiful, is it not? Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if I could just see that. Now, if they could just dim the lights. For, could you dim the lights? There you go, dim the lights. Ladies and gentlemen, the Virgin Mary. And, you know, that wouldn't drive you mad at all. <laughs> After what? Whose is this? 
old man uh, there. Stand up, stand, stand up, sir. What's your name? Michael. Michael. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a saint's name. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and is it actually in your house? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Mm. <laughs> Help. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Michael. Um, this is a very cute thing. It's a doorbell. It's one of those, you know, those electronic doorbells that you can put onto things. I'll just hold this up to my microphone. So someone comes up to your door, right, and rings the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute? I want it. <laughs> I know, That's I thought so like that. <laughs> Who is this? Who is that? Oh, well, what, what's your name? Just shout it out. Kerry. Kerry. Very nice, Kerry. I, like, I, could, I might steal that. Uh, <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, um, Oh, fantastic. Uh, what's his name? Was it Jonathan? I think it was yes. Jonathan. Jonathan, our toilet man is here. Come on out, push him. Push him. Jonathan, thank you so much, Jonathan. I'm really frightened to think your hand is wet. <laughs> I really hope that's where you washed it in a hurry. That's right. Mm. Now, you give me that, thank you, Dad, and I give you exactly the same phone. It's a pay as you go oh, phone, it's all paid you. up and everything. Oh. All right. Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah, see if we stay in touch. Thank you very much for coming thank in to see you. Very good. Oh. Yeah, can you stay for the rest of the show? Yeah, I'd love oh, to. Stand, stand in there. Shove off, let him in. Just, just shove in, just shove in there anywhere. Shove in there, Jonathan. All right, yeah, oh look, nice ladies there. There we go. <laughs> that is soap, isn't it? Still, scabby old public toilets, you do worry. And isn't it weird how they lock them at night? Is that to stop people breaking in and cleaning them? I don't know. <laughs> Put that there. Now, uh, what am I doing now? Um, what about this one? What about the kitten trapped in the doily? That's this. my favourite. <laughs> Actually, this is gorgeous. <laughs> this... <laughs> this combines so many beautiful things. <laughs> Do <laughs> touch it. It's solid as a rock. <laughs> See the way the camera loves it. Oh, <laughs> yes. By the way, if it does look very nice on camera, may I assure people at home, <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> and it combines it combined so many things. Beautiful pottery, mm. celebrating the art of crochet, mm. <laughs> and the inherent evilness of cats. Who's <laughs> uh, uh, this? Stand and be counted. Uh oh. Oh, man up there, stand up, sir. Oh, lovely. <laughs> what, what's your name? Steve. Steve. <laughs> it's Steve and his doily cat. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Steve has a great love of the objet d'art. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to Lawrence Wall and Bone. <laughs> <laughs> Is it actually yours? Yeah, it's a wedding present from my mum. No, you're making that up. No, it's true. <laughs> oh, I believe him. <laughs> Step away yeah. from the doily cat. <laughs> Step away from the doily cat. You know, when I look at it again, it's really quite nice. Because <laughs> actually, the thing is, I'm feeling quite badly for the mother, but then I'm thinking, wait a minute, we did tell the audience to bring in horrible things from their house, <laughs> and you did choose this. <laughs> So, we're all right. Fair you, cop. You're in deep shit, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm off the hook. <laughs> uh, well done, Stephen Doily Cat. We like that very much. <laughs> hey, listen, you must go on, must go on. Uh, got to do this. Uh, mm. No, because this is not really, because you kind of think, so it's so hideous, you've got to think, oh, must be some sort of like primitive art form, must be very, very lovely, must be very, very lovely. But how primitive could the art form be? I mean, look, there's a painting here on the side, right? Now, I'm sorry, that's someone from some country just taking the piss out of a tourist. <laughs> I'll do a painting of a man, right? He's trying to shoot the goat, but he's standing on a dog. <laughs> so, there you go. And then this one is very odd. Look, it's just some woman with a bit of bird shit on her head. <laughs> I like it when she's sort of looking up at it. No, oh, that happened again. <laughs> Another local tradition. Um, wh whose is this? Right, um, wh what's your name? Nadia. Nadia. What country does this come from? Greece, I think. I think it's Greece what? or Cyprus. 
Green Pillar was out. It was a good holiday then, wasn't it? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know where Very I was. Very old. <laughs> I just bought it. Um, and it, what is, what's that about? No, what it's based on... Um, <laughs> shepherds would take that up a mountain with water in there and drink it out. <laughs> That seems so unlikely. <laughs> what, some shepherds up a mountain drinking out of that? <laughs> Is that just the sheep aren't too nervous? <laughs> He's busying himself with that thing, we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's vile. Hey, listen, I'm going to do finalists now, finalists. Uh, so, um, what we do, um, we did like Virgin Mary. Lighting up Virgin Mary is very, very good. So that'll be a finalist. Um, I, I like that, but just because I like it. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. I just no. liked it. Sorry. Uh, right. Wet with outerwear. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Wet well outerwear. Well heard. Yeah. Well heard, Mr. Bob. Right. Um, okay, that. And we have to have yeah. doily cast. Oh. oh. In fact, I'm sensing a winner, really. Thank you. I'm sensing a winner. Should we let doily cat win? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that doily cat just gives us a glimpse into the horror that must be your house. But the good thing is, you've won the chance to escape it with a fabulous weekend for two in Paris, the home of style, courtesy of our lovely friends at escaperoots.com. That's really nice, isn't it? It looks Thank like a sunny moon. All right, take care of yourself. Bye-bye, Steve. -bye, well done. Very good. Well done to him. That's it. My thanks to Marianne Faithful and Lauren. We have no time to talk about. No time to talk about the hundred-year-old man who passed away just as he read the telegram everyone gets on their hundredth birthday. Yes, a message from Catherine Zeta-Jones saying, "Fancy a shag." <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. -bye. Oh, one last thing. Uh, my new video, The Best Of, so Graham Norton, featuring all my favourite bits from series one, two and three, is available in the shops now. It's also available on DVD, with an extra interview from yours truly. The video and DVD are available with free delivery from the Channel 4 shop by calling 0870 1234 344. Now Santa is a busy man. He has no time to play. He has millions of stockings to fill on Christmas Day. You better write your letter now and mail it right away. Cause he's getting ready, his reindeer and his sleigh. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town. From the silly to the surreal to the downright nasty. Ah! Ah! Candy Cameronite celebrates the show that became a global phenomenon. Trigger Happy's Dom Jolly kicks off with the world's most extreme hidden camera stunts. Or do you think some of them are really obvious? Or? Uh, yeah, some are obvious. Some are a bit slapstick. <laughs> then a celebration of the show that started it all. Three exclamation points. And Naked Camera shows that sometimes you don't need props or clothes. The A to Z of setups and pranks. Candid Camera Night, Saturday from 9 on 4. A wild weekend in the Catalonian capital. The boys do Barca, a late-night Holyoke special, next tonight on 4.